Hello, fabulous superstar Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month, and especially for you. You are in the midst of an important time. One of the highlights for you, if you will, over the course of this very active year. You recently had one of the last of a series of eclipses in your sign. Now that took place for you last month, right around the 20th of June is when we had a solar eclipse in your sign. Now a solar eclipse is essentially a new moon, except it is a powerful new moon at that. Well, what will happen this month is a rare second new moon in your sign. And that gives you an opportunity to begin again, once again. Whereas last month's solar eclipse gave you brand new possibilities, but truly represented just a beginning, just a seed that also needed time for deeper consideration given that Mercury was retrograde in your sign. By the time we get to the new moon this month, it is going to be that new moon this month, right around the 20th happening in the late degrees of your sign that promises a new beginning that has root that really can allow a practical fresh start. The fact that that new moon in your sign is going to be opposite Saturn with precision does say manifesting something different is going to be a key part of how that is realized. It's almost as if you are taking the lessons of the last two years as you've had eclipses in your sign that you are going to then start to look at how it is that your life now can be different with all it is that you've come to understand about yourself. Now, it may be earlier in the month that someone points the way. And this is because we are going to have a lunar eclipse. We start the month in a period between eclipses, an extended period at that, which will end right around the 5th of July. It will be then that a lunar eclipse in your opposite sign speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus is going to take place. And that is going to allow you to connect with another person. Those one-on-one -on -one connections, whether it is a business partnership or professional alliance, or even just getting together with someone that you know, sharing perspectives. It is that that gives you a whole new way of understanding. And it is from that fresh understanding that ultimately fuels self, fuels a new way to examine who you are, what matters to you most, what matters to you first. You have gone through a period where your identity has been illuminated in new ways. And now with this new moon, you are finally ready to live it that much more fully. Now I do also want to say the new moon around the 20th of this month, there may be a difficult choice or compromise that is being made at this time. It's like you're looking at things realistically and sometimes in a very stark kind of way. With this new moon opposing Saturn, there might be a tough call that needs to be made, uh, a need to be more deeply honest with yourself as to what is worth sacrificing for and maybe what no longer is. What you thought you really wanted at one time may change perhaps profoundly for you at this new moon, but it does represent an important turning point, a moment of clarity that does allow a new beginning where you get to live in accordance with your deeper truth about yourself. Now, where it comes to matters of love, there are a couple of things to take into consideration. It is going to be late this month, around the 29th of July, when Venus will leave shadow just a couple days before, will make its third and final exact connection with Neptune. If you have been watching your monthly horoscope, and especially if you've been in the superstar space week to week, I have been talking about how this ongoing connection between Venus and Neptune has been a defining characteristic of this time, this larger Venus retrograde season. And last month, Venus did go direct, but now as Venus wraps up the larger Venus retrograde season, the events of late this month will in some way hearken to what was taking place for you in matters of heart in the middle of May. This may be a time when you are facing disappointments or uncertainties, but also learning to find a deeper acceptance for what hasn't worked, knowing that what hasn't worked in the past 
doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't love for you going forward from here because there absolutely is. And if there's any doubt, it is the lunar eclipse early this month that will point the way. That lunar eclipse happening in your opposite sign that is going to speak to a clarity as to where you are in love and why. Eclipses are powerfully karmic at that, and it is gonna feel as if events are happening on a karmic level, on a faded level, moving you towards a deeper understanding of love. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, having a lunar eclipse like this, well, it does suggest that there is someone there to help you to understand where you are in love and why. What I do love is that beautiful Uranian connection. It's like a brand new possibility, a brand new understanding and fresh energy coming in that helps you to feel like at least in matters of heart and love, you're coming full circle. But this can also feel very fortunate as well. And so there may very well be new people at this time who bring new perspectives, least of which is a new perspective on self. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that there is going to be some truth that you start to glimpse about this person in the early days of the month. And this energy is very all or nothing. But regardless of what you choose, there is peace and joy in the decision. And so either it is going to be the case that you realize this is the person for you and things can accelerate very quickly at this time, but it may also be the case that you realize this really isn't the person for you and you decide to go in a whole other direction. If you're just getting to know someone right now, it is also possible that you meet somebody else completely different and that is part of what helps you to make a different choice. For those of you who are in an established bond, I love this energy of this lunar eclipse in the first days of the month. It does suggest that you feel as if you and your partner have a fresh new understanding, a brand new beginning, and are going in a brand new direction together. At the same time, there is another look at perhaps ongoing matters so that ultimately you truly can put them behind you, perhaps once and for all put them behind you so that you can move in a direction of greater joy of your choosing. What I love about this month for you, well, I am going to say that beautiful lunar eclipse in the early days of the month, that new moon as we move later into the month in your sign, it does suggest a tough call is being made in one way or another, but it's nothing that you can't find a spirit of compromise towards. You are examining your life more deeply and looking at what you have manifested to ensure that you like the direction in which you're going. That moment of honesty lends itself to a fresh start on a more personal level. But where it comes to knowing that you have people who support you, who understand you, who love you, that appreciation will be there in abundance in the early part of this month. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.